Hello everyone, I hope you're doing great and wherever you are, you're healthy, happy and positive. Today and on this video, I want to show you how to start your online course with Arcano Education Online High School. Uh, now, this is the first step after your registration with Arcano has completed. This is after your English proficiency test and after evaluation of the level of your education in previous schools. So this is when your registration is completed and in this case I want to show you on as a demo the registration and starting the course of English 11 online course at Arcana Education. Okay, so you'll receive this welcome email, so a greetings to the student uh, name and the student number, the OEN number. And welcome to Arcana Online Education Experience. It is our pleasure to be instructing you in English 11 course. So this is about our English 11 course, talking about the course and on online education a little bit. Make sure you go through it. The first link that you will find is English 11 ENG 3U online course outline. When you click on it, a Google Doc file will be opened. So because I'm part of the Arcana uh, staff I have editing access to this file but you will see the same file in a view version and it talks about the course it's very important you go through it you learn about the head of department and a little bit uh, description of the course uh, the parts and curriculum expectations of the course which are very important it's strongly suggested for students and their parents uh, to go through it to understand fully how this course is going to be laid out then it talks about the units and the titles and how many hours it's going to take so also this is very important and sometimes there's this misconception of uh, the fact that uh, online courses are going to take longer or shorter uh, it is all here you will have an, uh, uh, an average expectation of how much time you have to spend on each uh, lesson and unit to, to, to be successful and to be uh, counted towards uh, the credit uh, now it also talks about some evaluations it's very important extremely recommended that you go through this it talks about all the assignments and how the course is going to be assessed it's about 13 pages and you go through it quickly the first time and I'm going back to the email so you proceed with the email and it talks about the course information about English 11 and the prerequisites for it um, and also it talks about if you have any questions or if you want to send your previous uh, prerequisite records you will have to send it to admin at arcaneeducation.ca then it talks about your teacher in this case uh, for our English 11 uh, Mr. Doug or uh, teacher doc is going to be the teacher for the course and this is the email that you can reach him at uh, and if you also receive any information uh, it, this is going to be the email and uh, now after after this it talks about the percentage of the course a little bit um, uh, then you proceed and you see the course link so when you click on this uh, the course is going to start now before I go to this I'm going to finish with the email and then we're going to talk about this course link a little more and in details so the rest of the the information on the email talks about what you would need to know to proceed with the course you would have to have some knowledge about Google Drive Google Docs uh, Google Calendar Google Hangout YouTube and we're going to uh, frequently use these tools and apps and so much more Google Classroom uh, to help students and have better communications with students also important that uh, if you have any IEP uh, plan which which would require an in individual education plan please let us know by sending your documents to admin or kind of education and then you will also have a copy of course outline if you want to take any uh, so now we can go to the course when you enter the course for the first time, you will see uh, English Grade 11, ENG 3U. There is a course overview. Please go through it. And there is the English Literacy Evaluation. You have probably uh, done an English proficiency test if you are uh, an international student or if you're new to online education. If you have a prerequisite for this course, which is English 10, also acceptable. So just make sure you fill up this form prior to starting your course. It's a very quick question and answer. Now, after you're done, under the home button, you find the instructor message. So you can click on it and read it later. There's a message from your instructor welcoming you to the course. Please go through it as well. Uh, 
then under you will also find the link to the course outline which will take you to the same file that we went through before uh, it's the same file that we just went through it then it's going to be student support service there's a uh, entire video about this so go search for it on under the same section arcano academy or on youtube about student support service at arcano education online school so we we have a video about that as well then one of the things that is important also to know is the plan for success and the student's performance this is where the where your marks or the updates are going to be after that you're going to probably start with the course so the first thing is uh, starting with the lesson so now I'm not going to go through the lesson in details I just want to show you and help you how to start so lesson 1.1 is where you want to start the course again it's very important to, lead, uh, to, to read the learning goals from the beginning of the course these are the goals that is going to be achieved on on this lesson and these are the criteria that is going to um, lead us to success so make sure you go through all this information the next thing or the first thing that you're going to have to do with the course in the lesson is the attendance it is very important to take a moment and sign your name on the attendance sheet every time you log into a new lesson when you click on it it's going to take you to a different page you just have to write your email sign your name date and time and you submit it when you submit it, it, it gets recorded, then you can start your lesson. On the right top corner, uh, you'll see this uh, arrow, and I'm going to talk about how we're going to start with the lesson. But before I proceed, I have to say that our courses in Arcana Education Online School uh, are offered in a platform that are accessible through laptops, tablets, and, iPhone, uh, and, and phones. Uh, so you can use all these devices to, to study on uh, on the online courses but in on this demo I'm showing you the version that is using the laptop so if you're using your tablet or a mobile uh, it's going to look a little bit different the concept and the content are exactly the same just the look is going to be a little different so for example on the tablet you might see this uh, shape a little different or maybe you should see it somewhere else but on the laptop when you click on it your lesson will start and goes to the full page you can choose to make it automatic play or you can go by slide or just simply click on the screen first it tells you a little bit about the class then you proceed and it nicely lays down for you how long it's expected to finish this this class now it tells you roughly about these time is going to take to go through the content without considering the ta uh, the time that is going to be taking to understand it or maybe repeat it uh, or go through the practice so roughly about one hour to to three hours is going to take you to complete the course now I know that in in this case and it's laid out that it's going to be uh, one hour and a half but but it's also understandable that for different people different speed and different process might might vary so it is okay if a lesson is going to take you three hours or four hours sometimes especially if you're taking ESL or English courses maybe sometimes you find them a little challenging then you start the lesson so I'm going to go through the first slide and in this slide there's a YouTube video that it, you're expected to watch and read about something there's something that you need to click on to to answer some questions so when you click on it I'm just going to briefly show you how to submit a file as well we have a video about submission the file uh, and I also recommend you to watch it as well but in this one you make a copy and uh, there's there's going to be a file copied for you on your document and then uh, obviously uh, you read the instructions to make sure that you can answer these questions and you proceed with your task and after you're done uh, I, ha I have made another video how to share it with your teacher you technically share it through this button and that is it I'm gonna go through one more thing there's one more type of uh, technically uh, reflections that I want to go through it so I'm gonna go back to the web page and let's say I'm done with uh, section 1.1 and I did all the uh, slides some of the lessons let's go through on 1.2 some of the lesson at the end of the lesson obviously I have to do the attendance first uh, at the end of the slides so like usually slide 7 or 8 there's going to be a reflection reflection is a form that when you click on it it's going to ask you some questions sometimes some uh, uh, targeted questions regarding the course content and sometimes about opinion of how long this uh, this lesson took you to finish 
or how did you find it? Was it difficult? And what areas you want to improve? Sometimes there's those kind of questions. Sometimes there's questions like, uh, what is the lesson's story, uh, or or targeted about the specific topic of the lesson. And then you respond it obviously, and then there's going to be a, a button say uh, submit, and you submit your work. So this is another type. I hope this video was helpful. So this is just the way technically you move on. Obviously, every lesson and every unit might be a little different. Um, according to the lesson that is going to be taught in the course um, but um, overall the look is going to be the same uh, remember you can always ask for support by emailing your uh, teacher or simply going to student support service if you have any questions sending it to us and I hope this video was helpful um, and uh, good luck on your uh, course good luck on your proceeding with your lessons and do not hesitate to contact us if you have any questions. See you next time.